Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This video I'm going to explain how to enable the SSH. Okay. For a remote access, you can go and watch my previous video to fix uh, the issue in the remote access and the mandatory command to enable the remote access. Okay. This video we are going to see how to enable the SSH. Okay. If you see this video, previous send router that is R1 router icon for 192.168.1.1 and Cisco the username is created R1. Okay, so I am logging with username R1. Or it can be 192.168.1.1. Okay. If you see that, you got to login SSH minus login iPhone login. The login name must be provided 192.168.1.1. Connection is refused to by remote host. So it means I can already. We checked in the previous video by executing so SSH command you can get to know whether the SSH version 1 2 is running so this video we came to know SSH is not configured so how to enable the SSH it's a very simple step but someone will do the mistakes uh, to fail to enable some specific command I will show you that Enabling the SSH first we need to generate the RSA key. Okay, now the standard key is 2048. Let me generate that. Command is crypto key generate RSA modules 2048. But this command will not accept. See, you will get this error. Please define a domain name first. You need to create a domain name if you want to enable the SSH access domain name let it be R1 now domain name is created now you can generate crypto key generate RSA modules 2048 this is standard one we use to generate RSA key will be used to be the local router see you are getting this message generating 204 bit RSA key key will be non exportable This is for local. Okay. Wait for some time. Let the RSA key will be is getting generated. In real time, it would take maximum one, one minute. Okay. Yeah. The key is generated successful. See. The automatically 2048 the SSH version 1.99 has been enabled. Okay, so we need to use the ISS IP SSH version 2. Before that, I am going here and I will check that whether you are able to log in, in remote host or not. See, it's allowed directly login. Password is Cisco. Enable password also set. So you you are right now in R1 router from R2 remote location. Okay, but if you go and see, see, it's still showing SSH is not running. So what is a command to enable the IPS? Actually, it should show that 1.99. Okay, but showing still. We need to configure the SSH IPS SSH version two. So yes, SSH still it's showing there is some bugs. So IP. This is it. 
this is this is the right command. First command will show you that SSH connection. Sorry for that. First connection will show you the SSH. You able to see that. encryption is 128 SHA session started sorry for that actually I saw IPS as such command is to verify the version okay to show as such command is to show how many SSH connection is running and what under the what uses so there is only SSH version 2 is still it showing Yes, it's version one only. One point nine nine. IPS SSH version two. Right. Enable. So it's a two. So still it is coming with version 1.99, but it's secure. Okay, it's showing the APS sketch version two is enabled. Sorry for the quite confusion. No issue. Now yes, sketch is is complete. Now I want to restrict the telnet. I want to disable the telnet the router. I am not going to use any access list. Okay, but how to do that? You will see that's in same video. Telnet 192, 168, 1.1. Telnet 192, 168, 1.1. So Telnet access is allowed now. So I don't want to do that now. How to? I don't want to allow the Telnet access. I'm going to line VTI. Transport input SSH I executed this command because the connection is already established, so it's showing TCP section already established before this configuration. Now you are not able to log in via telnet. Because you are you are providing the access through remote through only yes as such. So you are not able to log in through telnet. So this is this is a mandatory command. Now now no one in an organization is allowing telnet. So please make sure that your device is running with only incoming packets with as such. I hope you will enjoy the video. This video we learned how to enable the SSH, what is a mandatory command and how to check the version status and how to check the uh, any any current activation in the router and how to disable the telnet. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for all for watching this video. Uh, I hope this video will be helpful for you. So please provide your feedback in comment section. I think I have confusion with why its version is showing still 1.99. I'm not exactly sure about that. So if anyone know about the details, please post in comment section. Bye. Thank you for watching my video. I'm, I'm looking to hear some feedback from you about my video quality and is it really helpful for the people who are watching my video okay so please post your comments in a comment section
my pet is positive or negative doesn't matter but if you watch my video completely i am expecting some comments from you thank you bye see you in the next video